People don't really understand that sort of 90% of the world's trade goes via the ocean and how important that really is to the world's economy. So there's about 10 to 15 million engineers of the graduate level in the whole of the world. Out of that, there's about 500,000 to a million new graduates every year. And uh, the marine industry probably takes, it probably has less than 100,000 engineers that go into sea, working in the marine industry, ports, designing equipment. So when you look at all of these different challenges that we have in our industry, you get the sense that, oh my God, you know, we're going to need a lot more people to help us. World trade is at stake if we don't have engineers that go aboard these vessels and, and look after them. There's something like 80 gigawatts of sort of offshore wind that, that's been installed and, and that could grow to over 400 gigawatts of, of sort of offshore wind over the next 10 years. That's valuable energy which needs to be generated to help us with our sustainability ambition. We need careers for people where people feel that there is a real purpose to what they're doing. You've got all of these competing industries all of them sound quite salacious for, for anybody to go into. You know, who wouldn't want to work in the space industry or aerospace? It comes down to the image, you know, of what, what is marine? You know, what's the transformations that's going on in marine? And how do we make that exciting to both engineers, technologists, and also to those involved in science as well? What I think is quite interesting now for the industry is remote monitoring, remote control and autonomy. because. With that technology, we're now looking at how we can move some of the roles from the ship to the shore. Why do we have to have a specialist, highly qualified chief engineer on every single vessel? It could be that we have somebody that's shore-based that could look after a fleet of vessels. You then open it up to people with families. You open it up to people with disabilities who can't go to sea. I've worked with some universities where we've created sort of um, combination courses like mechanical and electrical engineering. So a, a marine engineer is a combination of, of mechanical, electrical, jack of all trades. They need to know a little bit about every single sort of topic because when they come across equipment and they have to fix it, it could be mechanical, it could be electronic, it could be software, and they need to be adaptable. So again, it we've got to look at how we can transfer people's skills from one domain to another to then adopt these types of technologies. I have to be optimistic. I have to drive the Institute of Marine Engineer, Science and Technology towards that goal of helping to bring in the right people into the industry with the right skills and to meet those global demands around energy and transportation. We have to do it. Engineers and scientists have to work together to help solve these challenges going forward. We have a hugely important role in the world today. Mm -hmm.